weekend in Stroud we're all looking forward to it we're hoping for good weather so many people in fact 35 gardens are opening different varieties of gardens little ones raised beds raised beds made of plastic made of wood made of corrugated iron we've got wildlife ponds for um, beneficial insects uh, we've got compost heaps we've got a master composter giving a talk uh, we've got to talk about starting an allotment and then on Sunday we've got guided walks. In the morning we're going around the Horsley Gardens, in the afternoon we've got a guided tour around the Nailsworth Gardens. Um, all the, help, the Ramblers have helped us organise this and there's a, a garden an expert going to. And um, it would be really exciting to see all these different gardens, some really, really interesting gardens to see. But you're Amanda and you're down to earth? Yeah, and we're uh, down to earth. About. We are um, we're set up to support people growing fruit and veg in their own garden, so domestic food production. Like the foreign uh, people in France and Spain do, everybody grows a bit of veg at home. That's what we're about, so we can build raised beds, we can weed and feed, we can do holiday cover, we can give you advice on soil, we can come and find out what the problem is, why you've got all those black fly on those beans, and we can advise what to do about it. So a one-stop shop for growing food and veg at home. Well, I can introduce Nikki, one of our volunteers. No. Yes. The owner, another one of ours. No. And there's little Rain there, who's with training as we yeah. speak. <laughs> Be a volunteer. Um, yeah, we've got a brand new project, Fruit and Nut Tree Guardianship Scheme. Um, we can do some tree maintenance, tree surgery, and it's free depending on how much we need to do or greatly subsidised. And then we can share the crop and we can make something into it and sell it as a product in Stroud, as a local food product. Product? Yeah. Product. Yeah, there's also Stryker Food Hub is an attempt for us to make anything local and or organic and if it's not local then if it can come from further, further afield but ethically sourced mm -hmm. as affordable as possible for local people so we don't have a shop so we do it keep our costs down so we don't have to mark the price up very much so apart from getting anything that's produced locally that's normally available in the market which we collect at our hub at Parliament School and then deliver out to people you can also order order online things like peanut butter and hazelnut chocolate spread yeah, which is equitable wow. organic so this is an example of some of the things so flour puree beer of course from Stride Brewery this is just the stuff that isn't um, perishable honey so basically you sort of you register online and then you just pick out what you want yes you can you can become a member and order regularly and have a standing order to order things if you want to do your regular shop with us um, or you can just do one-off purchases and it's all online that's fine Stroud district, so we're all over Stroud and out as far as Cam. And the aim is to get children growing vegetables from planting them, harvesting them, and even selling them at the end. We've got uh, 20 schools at the moment, 
and they're, like I said, they're dotted all around the Stroud district. Mm. Agriculture is um, a cooperative, really, and we have two um, leased land in Brookthorpe and at Hawkwood College, just outside of Stroud. Um, we've got 40, approximately 46 acres, and we provide food for um, 190 members. So there are 240 members, family members. So, so that's not just people; that's families. Households. This is, a, this is a typical of a weekly veg share. So this week, um, from the packing shed at Talkwood, we've collected today. Um, there's lots of spinach, lettuce, broccoli, cucumber, beetroot, broad beans, potatoes, onions, carrots, and flowers. Um, our, all our food is organic or biodynamic, so we, we farm biodynamically, which means that we look after the whole environment. And animals are an important part of our farm. We have uh, on the farm we have piglets, pigs and piglets, lost dog spots, cattle, which we uh, have for the meat, but also for the manure, and we have a few sheep. So, um, which we have again, all the animals are for the manure as well as for and looking after the land as well as for those members who do eat. Become a member of Stroud Community Agriculture. To join, it's um, an annual membership of £24. And then to have a veg share, it varies. So you could have, this is a, a, a weekly veg, collecting veg share would be £35 a month, uh, which is payable through direct debit. Or there's half shares, or if the more shares that you have, so if you're from a big household, the, the less amount of money it is. And we also have a bursary scheme, so for, for people who can't quite afford that, then we have a scheme where people can apply for a bursary to help them. So we have one or two people like single parents who can't afford things at the moment, then they'll have a bursary towards the cost right. of their best share. And do people have to work on the farm? Do you no, think? they don't do, but that's a lovely option. We have farm days once a month, the last Saturday in every month, and that varies at which farm is at, either at um, Portwood or at Brookthorpe. If you come along to the farm here, you can also bring along your kids like this, where they can meet the animals, become familiar with the animals, familiar with farming practice, maybe help us lug some bales back onto uh, the haystack, things like that. And that way, hopefully, they'll grow up familiar with all this and hopefully they'll make great adults out of them. Tell me. These are orchid chilies. They're supposed to be extinct, or they thought they were extinct, so they're a very special chili. There was an orchid specialist travelling on holiday in Portugal, and he just happened to see them growing in somebody's garden, took some peppers, kept the seeds, and he's distributed them internationally to try and get them all populated again. Oh, fantastic. So chili. And they're here in Stroud today. They're here in Stroud, down to a cooperative. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 